Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you different ways to save your measurement data in IMC Studio. So let's get started. We are beginning today having already selected our desired device and have also configured our analog channels. We select the two active channels, then we can click on the tab in the lower window labeled Data Transfer. Here we can select the option to save to the device and or the PC by checking the appropriate boxes. For storing measurement data on the device, there are various options depending on the particular model and components being used. Generally, you can choose to store the data on the device's internal hard drive or a removable memory card. Storing the measurement data directly on the device is a suitable option when your testing conditions don't allow for appropriate network connection or you are operating the device in a standalone mode. If you'd like to store your measurement data on a PC, first check the box to save the data under Transfer to PC. Here, the data will be saved as RAM. However, this is only temporary. In the drop-down labeled Circular Buffer Time, you can choose how long your data is to be stored for demonstration and calculations. We will choose 10 seconds. If we check the box Save Data, the entire measurement will be saved. This is independent from the setting of the circular buffer time. IMC Studio will automatically create a folder under the experiment path. The selected configuration can be saved by clicking on the Download button. Now we will change to the panel plugin. As you can see, we already have our selected analog channels in a standard curve window. Now we will start the measurement. You will see that after 10 seconds, because of the circular buffer time setting, only 10 seconds of measurement data are displayed at a time. When we stop the measurement, a folder will appear in the data browser in which all measurement data is saved, not only what appears in the curve window. When we open the folder, you can see that the data from the entire measurement was saved. A little bit of adjustment and there's both of our channels. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.